I'm Wendy Rahmat and welcome to Next Gen Cooking. Today we're cooking with Raynell Hackett and Raynell is a Form 3 student in secondary school obviously. Welcome Raynell. Hi Miss, I'm so happy to be here. Thank you for having me. Oh gosh, it's my pleasure. So Raynell, for the viewers, we met at my um, teen yes. cooking camp this year. You were yeah. a student for the week that we do the camps. Did you enjoy that? I loved it so much. It was a very good experience and the people there were just so nice and you were so nice and like I personally love the recipes that you made like yeah. I made some of them over and they tasted and they tasted so good I am glad because that is a life skill but you have you may you wear many hats you're not just a student you're also an archer yeah and for those of you that are not familiar because I had to ask the question she practices archery and um, you had a quite incredible journey this year tell us about it so this year, over the July August, I went to Brazil to do the ISF International School Competition. And I placed second in the team shoot for Trin represent Trinidad and Tobago. So you got a silver medal? Yes. Where's the medal? Oh, okay. Well, we show them later, right? Yes. Because I want to see it too. So tell me, when did you start archery? Well, I started archery about a year ago in September. For my birthday. Oh, only a year and yeah. you're a silver medalist already. Why archery though? It's such a it's a different sport and it's not real, really popular. Well, there's a story to that. So we went, my family and I went on a hiking trip, mm -hmm. a hiking and camping trip. And one of the activities they had was rifle shooting. And I shot a moving target. Oh wow. And they were like, natural. Yeah. They was like, wow. As they said, I'm not sure. So I said that I wanted to try rifle shooting, but they said that I should try archery first because it's hard. Because when they ch tried archery, they said that it was very hard for them to get on the targets. Right. But when I, when my father found a club for me, oh, and when I tried it at first, it was not hard at all. So you enjoy it? I enjoy it a lot. That must take a lot of upper body strength and a lot of precision. So it how is. do you, as a young person, you're what, 14? And 15, 15 now. okay, so you're a perfect Gen Z for us here. <laughs> um, how do you stay fit and healthy? So <clears throat> I try to exercise at least once a week in between school. Um, and I try to eat more home cooked food and healthy foods. And instead of just going out and buying with this oily, oily stuff, like I really don't like that. I think that's a great message for the young people out there because people some tend to think, okay, it's right there, I could just buy it. but is it because you, you enjoy home-cooked food or is it because you think it's healthier for you? We both actually, because my mother cooks very well. Right, and then you're a good cook too now that you've taken my class. Yes. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, so what do you enjoy cooking the most? That is a difficult question to, to say. Pasta. I wouldn't really see more flowery stuff. I would see more meat-based stuff or like a mix between flour and meat. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, so like the tamale pie that we had made, yes. the chili from that, that was my absolute favorite. Yeah, I love that too. <laughs> I, I really love tamale pie. I like the way it comes together and I love chili. So um, so, so you are pretty much, um, what's the future for you with archery? I, I know you love it and yeah. you're obviously good at it. <laughs> so what's next for you? Well, this weekend actually, I have to go to Tobago for another tournament. It's another international tournament in Tobago. And I'm hoping to get a scholarship to go to university with um, archery. And maybe study cooking inside that university alongside archery as well. well if you ever need a recommendation, I'd be happy to give one to you. <laughs> Thank you, miss. <laughs> so do you snack? Snack on what? How do you snack? What do you snack on? Do you tend to, do you like chips? Do you like? Not much actually. I really like in school, you know how people just eat the snacks and thing. I don't even buy snacks in the cafeteria so don't you get to be honest. In school? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> like that's just me. I don't really like to like snack on stuff like cause salty pack snacks. I, it's not like I don't like it, eh? but like I try to stay away yeah, from those good. kind of things. So you're training your mindset right now. Yes. That's excellent. That is excellent. So before you perform, is there something that you eat specifically? I try to eat um, more carbs, like the healthy carbs. Right. 
so that I could have energy for the morning because most of the competitions are in the morning mm -hmm. and I am not a morning person. So what is a healthy carb now? <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> no, on a normal basis, bread and cheese. Okay. <laughs> um, it's not really the healthiest option. Right. But I would try to eat something like that, light, mm -hmm. but get, uh, giving energy at the yeah, same time. Yeah, of course. So that's a great option. At least you you have the mindset to know where to stay yourself. So yeah. it, it'll just get easier and better as we move on. So do you eat a lot of cereal? Is that a part of your... I try, but I've eaten too much milk and cereal as uh, when I was in primary school as a breakfast. Yeah. So it's kind of like... Well, you know, they say milk isn't the, isn't the preferred beverage. So. Yeah. So that's good. Well, God, you're a role model for, for everybody out there. I'm sure the Toronto Tobago maybe isn't really aware that we have a international archery team. Mm -mm. Well, it's not official. We're yeah. trying to get it official. Right. But we try to go out and like give our archers in the club the, the experience of getting to shoot internationally and yeah. like not to collapse on any pressure. That's amazing. Art because actually it's a lot of focus. Like you have, you have, have to have this mental game mm -hmm. in order to know where you're shooting on the target. Of course. Yes, it's a lot of precision, a lot of... So um, you like granola? Yes. <laughs> so we're gonna go and cook some, or oh, bake some granola cookies. That sounds really Fantastic, delicious. let's go and don't forget to show me your medal. Of course. Right. <laughs> Wow, your favorite Sunshine Granola is now in a convenient resealable pouch. Sunshine Cereals got the granola you know and love. In a bright new bag, crunchy clusters of whole grain oats and sunflower seeds in four delicious varieties. Crisp rice, juicy raisins and cranberries, corn flakes and peanut, and wheat flakes and cinnamon. Enjoy some now, reseal, then come back later for more crunchy goodness. Sunshine Cereals, your favorite favorite granola. So Raynell, let's make those granola cookies. Yes. So I love granola too. I like to snack on it. And I think it's a lovely, crunchy, satisfying snack. So today we're using the flavor of wheat flakes and cinnamon. That sounds nice. Nice bright packaging too, right? <laughs> All local, made locally. Really? Yep. 100% local, which I think is fabulous. Let's take so, a bite. Yeah, sure. <laughs> of course. That's so awesome good. It's good, huh? It's awesome good. <laughs> right. All right. So, easy squeezy. You took the class with me. <laughs> You'll do the work, right? Yeah. So, we just want to put everything into the mixer and we let it go. So, first up, let's start by adding the butter. All right. See? So, let me just saw. Right. So, you can just right. make sure it goes into the bottom of the bowl. Yes. Very good. So, Miss, mm -hmm. how were your travels when you had to cook? Like, huh? What was the experiences when you were traveling? Oh, um, well, I had to sort of... Um, I ate a lot of soup. So, what was so, what was so eye-catching or interesting about the soup, Miss? It was um, cold and rainy where I was. Yeah. So, and it was really homemade and good. Mm. So that and it was all nicely pureed together. So it was very tasty and wholesome. And um, yeah, and you know, I occasional wish... time I had a nice meal too. Yeah, of course. I wish I got to get some soup in Brazil because we really just stayed at the hotel. Yeah, the hotel food is be kind of drab, right? Yes. Yeah. It's just like the normal um, food that here. So we put in some brown sugar there. Yes. We put in some peanut butter and some butter. Now, peanut butter, as you know, is a really good source of protein. So it's, as, an, as a young athlete, it's a great um, product to incorporate into your diet if you like it. Yeah. So you could have a peanut butter and cheese sandwich before Ooh, you peanut go. Peanut butter and jam. Yeah, mm. peanut butter and jam, peanut butter with bananas. It's great. I used to love that. Um, so it's a really healthy, and bananas are great fruit too, yeah. to give you a lot of energy. So if you want instant carbs or instant boost before you go, Try, try the bananas, bananas. Uh, as it's many it's... as you can, you're young, you're healthy. So we've got those things in there, so yeah. let's, um, let's put in an egg. Alrighty. 
Great. So let's start to beat that up a little bit and then we'll add the um, flour and the granola. Yes. Right. Cool. Miss, I could tell you a story. Sure. So when I was in Brazil, um, we was at the opening ceremony and I met this one of the volunteers. Mm -hmm. She was so nice and like we were dancing and we were bonding over dancing. So I was doing like the American style shuffle and she showed me the Brazilian shuffle. Oh, that's so cool. I tried my best to be Brazilian shuffle. <laughs> I could not do it. It was a little difficult. Yeah. Yeah. But after she gave me one of the necklaces that I have one right now, it have the Brazil flag on it. Oh, how sweet. And I was so happy. It's so nice when you meet all these different types. Yeah, I yeah. think it's wonderful. She was so nice. Okay, so that's creamy. So let's shut that off. And um, you can add the flour now. Let me just stop. In parts or? No, just dump it all in. Cookies or something, you just dump all in. <laughs> you don't get your hands dirty there. Right. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> that's fine. Just just throw it in. Right. And we need about, I would say we're gonna have about maybe a cup of granola in there. That granola tastes good. Baby. Yeah, it does. So you can dump that in. And I'll put in a little extra for good measure, right? <laughs> good and put in a little bit more for like the flavor. Yeah. So now I'm going to add uh, a little interesting twist. I'm going to add about a pinch of cumin. So that's an interesting flavor. And don't look like that because do you know there are Indian cookies dedicated with just cumin and salt and sugar and butter? Yes. Yeah, so we tend to be narrow-minded in the way we use our spices. And sometimes when we travel around the world, I mean, cumin did originate, well, it's Southeast Asia, South America. It's, it's widely used. So there are all sorts of different uses. So it's kind of nice to know when you have some cumin at home. Jira, what we can do with it, right? Cool. It and so, <laughs> yeah, and now we're going to add some bitters, which I think brings up a lot of flavor in things, it right? Does. So let's just put in My a little splash of bitters puts in puts in um, her lemonade. Yeah, bitters is good in everything. Yeah. So let's just get that going again. Oh. Let's just see how mix some portion of the granola and I'm putting a little bit of salt in there, right? Yep. So good measure. And that's it basically. Once that comes together, we'll spoon it out and pop it into the... Oh, um, it's smelling good already. Oh, we forgot the baking powder. Oh, real important. Oh, it will not rise. Yeah. So if you find it looks a little grainy, you can add a little bit of milk or water if you like. Okay. But I think once you bring this up a little bit more, it's going to come in together really nicely for us. I can actually see myself taking this to school. Yeah, it'll make a really good snack for you. And then my friends will strong them. <laughs> well, make for them too, give them the recipe. <laughs> they would not cook. They would not cook it. They, they just, I bring stuff for them and they'll be like, hey, bring some, bring something for yeah, you too. Typical, typical. <laughs> okay, great. So I think we're going to just spoon these out now into the baking tray. Okay, Rena, let's just scoop it out here. Yeah. Not too much. Good. Yeah. Put it closer to here so it can remember cookies spread, right? Yeah. Oh, perfect. So we could do maybe two or three. Yeah. That one little weird cheese. So nice. Mm -hmm. You said that you went in the camp. You said that you went to like Louisiana and those places. Mm -hmm. What was like your favorite thing there? God, just the food, everything you ate was tasted so good. <laughs> the seasonings and the, the, the different types of seafood, you know, the desserts, soul food, the cornbread, everything, everything is great. Just made with a lot of love because food is there. Is there love now? Is there, yes, food is their thing down there. And they do it very well too, so. So perfect. <laughs> If you had a, if you had one choice to yeah. make one thing from there, but Rena, you're challenging me. <laughs> um, ay ay ay. Well, I, I kind of like the etouffee, which is like a creamy seafood dish, oh, okay. served with rice, and I also love the beignets, which is like Louisiana donuts, oh, which okay. is like fabulous. I love donuts. Me too. 
I would love to go there one day. It is great. You would love it. Should be good. Let's yeah. pop this into the oven now, all right? Yes, lovely. So that was a quick 10 minutes right now. Yes, it was. And here are the cookies. But before we get to that, I want to look at this beautiful medal. My God, that's heavy. Mm -hmm. ISFU under 15 gymnastics, Rio de Janeiro 2023. That is amazing. So much congratulations to you for that. Thank you. I wish you all the best. Thank you, Miss. I can see that you're going to be onwards and upwards and a force to be reckoned with. I really hope to be. I hope so. <laughs> so let's put these cookies onto the plate. Ooh, I just can't wait to taste them. <laughs> right. They're so nice and hot. You can even make up a batch of these and freeze them. Double batch. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Ooh. pack up granola will make a lot of cookies, you know. So then you could take out a few before training or if you're going to school. Or you, or you could even make for your friends and charge them. Yeah. How is that? I will do that. A little business, of course. I will do it. No. They will take away my money. The school will take away my money. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay, so let's try one. Oopsie. <laughs> that is good. See? Is it good? That is really good. I definitely will be making this again. It's really good. Thanks for watching. See you next time.